What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here, and today we are out here in Austin, Texas, out here for Slammed Enough. This is gonna be the first one of these I've ever been to, and uh, from the looks of the parking garage for the show, the inside of the show is gonna be pretty crazy. So let's take a look around, let's experience what Slammed Enough is all about. I'll see you guys inside. All right, check this out. First car we see, freaking wide body GTR. What's up, man? I'm Good to see you too. again. Whoa. We're vlogging each other vlogging. Yeah. What do you think of this? Uh, I saw this at Import Expo. This, is Ooh. this thing is mean. They got the chassis mount wing and everything. Yeah, oh. <laughs> yes. Check that out. Bringing me back to the FRS vibes. I'm gonna cry. This is obviously 100,000 times cooler than the FRS was, but sheesh. We have a familiar face. This guy is a Houston native. I actually do not think I've seen the green version yet because this was blue before. Got the B5 blue charger. And I think I see a brother in arms down here. We got this 350Z with, uh, I hope he doesn't drive around like that, front bumper. And then the Supra. Ooh, with the shiny blue wheels. Look at these. So they're just the stock wheels, I guess powder coated. Shiny blue. And he's got a little wing on there too, also painted white. That's pretty cool. Not seen any of these cars before. We got a lot to go through today, guys. So buckle up and grab a popcorn. Check this out. It's like a carbon hood and fenders, but the weave is like honeycomb. That is hella clean. My goodness. The next to the S2000. Very, very cool, very cool. And what surprised me is there's a lot of Mustangs at this like JDM show. Are Mustangs coming over to the dark side? I think this one is. Yes, we have entered the big Wang Gang territory. This Mustang is pretty crazy. This is a Houston car. And we skip over a couple more and we got another big old Wang on this Subaru. This is a really cool spot for pictures too. I low-key wish I would have just parked my car up here to get some of uh, these angles because this view of the city is crazy. All right, fellas, those are most of the cool cars from the outside. Now, I finally get to enjoy a car show in the AC. So let's hop inside and see what like the main show cars are today. All right, guys, this is everything we have to offer. And you know, I'm not really trying to get copyright strike. So let's hop right into some beautiful cinematics of all of these amazing cars. Let's go. Mike, you have to trade in your Ram Reezy for this thing. This is pretty crazy. It's the La Mamalona kit. You got the starlight. Wow, it's the Longhorn Edition. Cummins on them wheels, man, on them American forces. Yeehaw!
Look what we have here. A Nissan Maxima. Now it is an older one and definitely not a Platinum. But should Jordan make it into this car? I don't think so. So this thing is pretty interesting. It's a, I believe, fifth gen SS with a sixth gen ZL1 bumper wrapped in, I guess, burgundy. With the Braum racing seats, harnesses, all that good stuff. And the carbon trunk. Yep, it is a fifth gen. What do you guys think about that? And it's on some Ferratas. Very nice. All right, I officially found my favorite car here. RS6 Avant in this crazy green color. On some Ferrata wheels. That is nuts. Just any of these is cool to see. But seeing one in such a cool color. On some wheels lowered. Ooh, this thing is nice. Favorite car here, hands down, bar none. This is the best, let's go. This is also probably one of my favorite ones I've seen so far today. It's a blue, baby blue Lexus on some white wheels, wide body, and I feel like it's done very nicely. Carbon fiber, I believe that's a wrapped hood or roof, and a little white canards on the side, but for what it is, I think I like that a lot. Okay, this thing's really clean too. Got the R32 GTR carbon hood, wide body. Next to the wide body Lotus with a big old wang. My goodness. There are a handful of cars here that I've never seen before in my life and I'm glad I have now. Because these builds are pretty freaking crazy. So here's another one of my favorite cars. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased, but man, there's only one of these here, unlike a lot of other cars, but geez, this thing is absolutely insane. This will be the final form for the Supra one day, someday. My goodness. Yeah, the Pandem kit is no joke, and my friend's R33 GTR looking extra spicy. There's another one here, but he literally looks like he got it off the boat from Japan and then brought it here because it's like all cracked and paints messed up, but my boys, it's extra spicy. All right, fellas, I think we've covered pretty much everything cool in the show. So we're going to head out a little bit early, but make sure you guys let me know what your favorite car was in the comment section below. All right, let's head back to Houston. Hello there, R8. Why weren't you in the show? Sheesh. All right, some of these cars in the garage are cooler than the cars in there. This Golf R on the Rotiforms. I don't know, I used to not really like the look of that, but the occasional one here and there, Looks very spicy, just like this one does. He's got the ski box on. Man, that's sick. Bruh. This car makes me want to go all far. Go to police! Holy moly, I've never seen this front bumper for an FRS before. 
you know what that is, let me know. That is wild. But that is the same hood I had for my old one. Oh, I miss it so very much. So you guys, let me know what you thought about Slammed Enough Austin. This was my first one of these shows and I don't know, I kind of was expecting just a little bit cooler cars to be there. Like uh, some of these in the garage are honestly cooler than some of the ones in there. There are a lot of Civics in there and like 10 Miatas and nothing against those guys. But like there's a wide body GTR outside and so many other cool cars that weren't even in the show. I don't know. I would just think if you are in Austin and you want to come to this event, I would. But if you are in Houston like me and are thinking about driving up for the next one, that's one's up to you. But I don't think I would come up for another one of these. However, there are a couple other good shows in Houston uh, coming in the next couple months. So I might go check those out, let you know how those are as well. I'm just trying to keep it real with y'all. I'm going to let you know what's going on with the meets when they're coming down in town. So if you like the video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.